I'm not wasting any time as we got a lot to talk about with, again, there is no confirmation at this point. There is no confirmation at this point that the sale of WWE is official. There are rumors pointing to that, but there is no confirmation that it is official that WWE has been sold to the the Saudi Public Fund. There have been rumors, but as more information comes out, the initial reports are seem to be are seeming to be pulled back on by those who reported them as more information comes out to the contrary that the sale is not official. But as I mentioned earlier, as I learn more, you guys will learn more. And as I know more, you guys will know more. I have no problem sitting by my computer screen. I am normally on my computer anyway. So the fact of the matter is, as I know more, you guys will as well. And we will find out as we go what happens if, in fact, the sale is official. I don't, the one thing I didn't talk much about in the last video is the idea of WWE going private based on the sale of the company back to the Saudi Public Fund. And the fact of the matter is, that is a viable option for WWE to go private, wh- whoever they get sold to. But it is an expensive process to get sold to any company. I mean, uh, to go private again. And usually it is something that ends up being a mistake for a lot of companies because of how much it costs to go private again. The other thing I want to mention is no sale can be guaranteed. Any sale can be struck struck down by the board of directors and shareholders if they are chosen if it is basically dictated that it is not a viable sale for the company or for the shareholders. So it is possible that even any negotiation or a potential sale could be struck down by uh, WWE's shareholders. And if they find out that basically a number mem- a number of the member number of members of the roster would leave, and, you know, and I do think that is one hundred percent viable or even maybe not leave, but walk out of the company in solidarity, I do think Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, would be among the talent that walk out. I think that a number of talent would walk out. Those two are pretty much the biggest stars that I think would walk out, and right now, two of the biggest stars in the company, thanks to the Bloodline storyline, I think that it is entirely possible that you could see maybe other people that are friends with Seth Rollins. I think Kofi Kingston could be among them. Um, I think that... Uh, honestly, I'm having a hard time remembering who has rejected or who usually does not show up on the Saudi Arabia shows because, I, I mean... I know that you may say just because they show up on the show doesn't mean that they approve of the event because if you're given that type, the type of payday you would get from the Saudi show, then, you know, you would walk out, you know, but there has been rumors of a walkout also if Vince returns to head of creative. So there's a lot going on in WWE right now and none of it is good. But there is one thing that needs to be addressed, and that is that according to Sean Ross Sapp, I believe, or I believe it was Sean Ross Sapp, that basically if WWE does get sold to the the Saudi Arabia Public Fund, Public Investment Fund, or PIF, if WWE does get sold to PIF, then it is very likely, it is strongly likely that USA Network and Fox would not be keen on renewing programming or the media rights 
with WWE due to the public relations nightmare, as I talked about in the previous news video, due to the public relations nightmare that would likely follow if Fox and USA Network would be willing to do business with WWE due to their owners. You know, do I understand the financial benefits that would come from associating with or selling to this the public investment fund? Yes. I understand it completely. Do I agree with it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't agree with it whatsoever. I don't agree with it whatsoever. Because you are ignoring the fact, you are ignoring the fact that it is a public relations nightmare. You are ignoring the fact that it is a public relations nightmare, or it would be a public relations nightmare. And it was actually Sean Ross Sapp who mentioned it in, a, in that same Fightful live stream that I mentioned earlier. Which, by the way, as I've mentioned on previous news videos, I will be posting all these sources from eWrestling News in the descriptions of these videos. As Sean Rossap said in the Fightful live stream, he noted that Fox and USA Network wouldn't be keen on renewing with WWE if the Saudi reports are accurate. Because of the public relations nightmare that that would be if that was the case. Um, in more lighthearted news, apparently Sean Rossap, you know, apparently Sean Rossap also said that he received a, a text message from Mojo Raleigh that said, that said, well, if the sh shit, if the cell goes through, maybe I'll get hired. But as, as I've noted earlier, again, Please use discretion with looking for your news sources because as of right now, the sale of WWE is not official. The sale of WWE is not official. And I would also say it was reported this week that WWE has reached an agreement with the Saudi Fund Though neither side have confirmed it, Fightful, report, Fightful Select reports that people on WWE's writing team have, haven't been informed about a sale, nor has anyone in the production team. No talent who spoke to the site said they had been told about a sale. It was reported that there had been no briefing backstage on the situation. If I remember from the research that I did on the WCW sale, and I did a shit ton of research on that sale that there were reports when a sale was imminent that they did inform the talent backstage that people knew about it. And it was the writing team that knew. It was the production team that knew. It was the talent that knew. Everybody knew when a sale was imminent because the sale was imminent and they wanted to give everybody a heads up. But the fa is it perplexing and a little weird if WWE did not inform any talent that a sale or anybody outside of the higher-ups, that a sale was imminent before it happened. Yes. Yes, it is a little weird, in my opinion, that that happened. But, as I've, been, as I've learned and as I've said, we will learn more as the day goes on, and I think we will probably know 100% what happens before the end of the day, but we will get more information on it as the days and weeks go by. With that being said, I will save the remaining news for the next video, as it has nothing to do with the WWE at all. Well, it does, but not what we've been talking about. But again, just to wrap it up and put a nice bow on it, the sale is not completed. The sale is not completed. If it was, I think at least some other people would know. Based on the little knowledge that I do have, I think it would be more common that some people would know rather than nobody knows. But I will let you guys know more as I know more. But right now, the sale is not completed. But I will see you in the next video. Let's get to more positive news and more news that people want to, you know, more confirmed news. And I will see you in the next video for that.